Well, Southwest Detroit residents face big challenges every day. Some of those challenges are environmental with lower air quality than the national average and a greater risk of suffering from respiratory illness. Others, though, are financial. 36% of residents in Southwest Detroit live below the poverty line, and all of these issues are reflected in health data. Life expectancy in Southwest Detroit is almost three years below the statewide average. But a nurse practitioner born in Costa Rica is fighting to transform health care in that community one patient at a time. In a neighborhood rich with culture, where Spanish is the language of the heart, and for many, the only language to pass through their lips, family nurse practitioner Scarlett Itema has found a home and a mission. In March, she opened Medicina Scarlett, a family medicine and urgent care clinic. Her goal is to increase access to health care and break down barriers like language. I'm going to say 90% of my patients are Spanish speaking, and I am, that's my first language. And I think it's incredibly important to be able to communicate in your own language, especially when it comes to your health. A sediment backed up by research that finds language barriers in healthcare lead to miscommunication between providers and patients, reducing satisfaction for both, and decrease the quality of healthcare and patient safety. But here, clients can speak Spanish from the moment they walk in the door. To me, to be able to talk to a patient in our own language is gold. But it required a lot of work to open up the clinic. Scarlett knew she wanted to be in the heart of the community so patients wouldn't have to worry about transportation. Many arrive on foot and literally walk in. But the spot she found on Werner Highway required a lot of work and help from Motor City Match. What was it like before? It you... was just an empty shell. There was nothing but an empty room with no walls. After a complete floor to ceiling rebuild, Medicina Scarlett focuses on convenience. So this is our lab with blood draws done in house and some ultrasound procedures done on the spot to speed up referrals to specialists and soon they'll offer certain vaccines at no charge because we have a lot of children who are unvaccinated coming in and we ask the health department to give us the vaccine so we can give them for free scarlett says each handoff of care to another provider or another location risks a drop off in care so offering as much as possible on site increases access and improves outcomes we also have a pharmacy um, on site. Where the pharmacy techs also speak Spanish, led by pharmacist Amid Nahas. This is Sir, my partner in crime, and uh, so we just, we work really well together and make sure that all patients get the same care as well. Medicina Scarlet opened in March with the summer ribbon cutting as the 168th Motor City Match business. I'm not going to lie that I was a little nervous that my patients were not be walking through the door and it has been absolutely the opposite. The word of mouth is just being what amazing. So much so, Scarlett says she intends to hire another provider to keep up with demand. Scarlett Itema, a pioneer of change, shaping the future together with her patients who want to be heard and understood. When people feel validated for their, for their complaints, it's not a very important thing because that's how you save people's lives. Well, Medicina Scarlet is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5. But in the future, Scarlet hopes to offer some Saturday hours to provide people care who can't take off of work or struggle with child care during the week. So she's doing some great work there, and we wish her and her staff all the best.